Sinusitis is one of the most common infections in the world, affecting both adults and children. But although most people know the symptoms of sinusitis, it can sometimes present with rare and unusual symptoms. Stick around to learn more. A few years ago, a 14-year-old girl who was complaining of severe toothache and swelling on the right side of her face went to see a physician. The doctor prescribed cephalexin for seven days in antibiotics. After the girl had completed the course of antibiotics, she started to have auditory hallucinations. She started hearing things. She couldn't sleep and she became very aggressive to those people around her while she continued to complain of severe pain in the front of her head. Her family rushed her to the emergency room where a frantic struggle to save her life began. Sinuses are air-filled cavities that are found on either side of the face, in both cheeks, on either side of the nose, behind the forehead, and directly behind the nose close to the brain. When inflammation takes place in these cavities, we call it sinusitis or a sinus infection. Sinusitis can be the result of infection by viruses or bacteria or sometimes from fungi. People with weak immune systems are more likely to develop bacterial and fungal infections of the sinuses. Sinusitis has also been associated with asthma and allergies, and people who suffer from allergies can sometimes get allergic fungal sinusitis. When the symptoms of sinus infection last for four weeks or less, we say it's an acute sinus infection. And if the sinus infection lasts for more than 12 weeks, we say it is chronic. Most people are familiar with the symptoms of sinusitis. Cloudy, discolored secretions in the nose and nasal stuffiness and pain in the areas overlying the sinuses in the face. These can sometimes be accompanied by fever and cough and malaise and fatigue and headaches and bad breath. But sinus infections can sometimes present as more serious conditions, or they may present with symptoms that do not show the underlying sinus infection. Unusual symptoms of sinus infection usually occur when the infection spreads to the surrounding areas outside of the sinuses, causing complications. Sinus infections that spread, that is complications, can be divided into three groups. Local, which is spread into the tissue surrounding the sinuses. Orbital, or spread into the eye socket. And intracranial, or spread into the brain cavity. Local spread of sinus infections often causes osteomyelitis, or infection of the bone. One particular type of osteomyelitis that occurs with sinus infections is known as Pott's puffy tumor. And this is osteomyelitis of the bone in the forehead overlying the frontal sinus accompanied by an abscess. Orbital complications or complications in the eye socket include periorbital cellulitis or orbital cellulitis which are infections of the tissues in the eye or of the eyeball itself. These can lead to serious complications such as blindness or abnormal movement of the eyeball. Intracranial infections or infections in the brain cavity can lead to a buildup of pus in the brain cavity, and this can cause brain abscesses or a buildup of pus below the lining of the brain that is known as subdural empyema. Spread of infection into the brain cavity may also cause meningitis, or it may cause a dangerous 
and deadly complication known as cavernous sinus thrombophlebitis. The young patient described above, who presented complaining of a toothache and facial pain, had developed subdural empyema when the sinus infection had spread to her brain cavity. Unfortunately, when she got to the hospital, it was already too late. She had already developed a blood clot in a large vein in the neck because the infection had already spread to the blood. If you develop any unusual symptoms during sinusitis, you should treat it as a medical emergency. Seek medical help immediately. It may save your life. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, share it with your friends and family, hit the like button, and support the channel by subscribing. Until the next video, stay healthy and stay safe.